So, what's up guys? Back to another one. Um, in this video, I just wanted to discuss with you my opinion about the revamp for Israel um, representation for Eurovision 2021. Um, you know, the singer, if I remember right, her name is Adele, right? Okay. And the song is under the name Set Me Free. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the original one, the f you know, um, from the songs that were at that moment out, I truly believe Israel's song is one of the songs that really stand out for me that moment, okay? It has that uplifting uh, thing to make you feel good. Uh, it's a dance song, really catchy song. Her voice is great, without any doubt. Um, and the video was fun for me, okay? Now, uh, the revamp now, for me, is infinite better, okay? They put some uh, violin, violinists in it. They put some extra instruments that actually um, make the song to evaluate better, sound better to the ears, uh, and all those stuff. Thus, um, from what I remember yesterday uh, that I watched, uh, the song climbed up in the beds at two. Now, if I remember right, is at a uh, 24th place right now, currently in beds. You know, um, it's not one of my greats so far. It's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely mixed better now with the Revan, sounds better. And after all, as I said many times uh, to my friends, uh, if I remember I said that also in my channel, uh, what matters in Eurovision is the stage, is the number one thing that matters, okay? Uh, if, you, if you remember, in 2018, Yes, by Eleni Ferreira. The song was at beds at 35 place in bed. Then after the staging and all those uh, stuff that the Ferreira did in the stage uh, rehearsals, the song actually climbed in the first place. I truly believe, with, by the way, that this song deserved deserve to win without any doubt. I do not have anything against the song. Uh, that won the competition that year by uh, the toy by Neda. I didn't like it personally, but I truly believe the one that truly de truly deserved to win the competition that time was Ferreira. Okay, now also in this video, I wanted to discuss with you which songs I truly believe could win the competition so far. So, uh so far, my favorites are. I'm gonna tell you my top five so far from the songs that I, that I heard fully. So at number five, I'm gonna go with Finland. Okay, great song, um, great uh, rock rap elements to it, and yeah, great fun to it. And I could not wait to see how they are gonna do it with. Uh, the pyrotechnics and all those stuff in the live section, okay? The number four for me, okay? Um, I'm gonna go with Latvia. Yeah, for me, it's an underrated song for me. Uh, it's one of the songs that either you're gonna love it or either you're gonna hate it. And for me, so far, I truly really like it, okay? It's a rap song, okay? I'm a big fan of rap music. Uh, this song definitely sounds like a rap song. Uh, she has strange, she has, um, I'm sorry, she has a great energy to this song, the singer that I forgot her name, apologies about that. And yeah, for me, this song deserves to be in the final, uh, finals without any doubt. Number three, okay, number three is Bulgaria great epic song 
growing up, growing old, uh, I think that's the name of the song. Uh, this song actually re reminds me kind of the Disney cartoon songs that we used to hear when we were younger, you know. Um, it has some deep structure to it. Truly like how the song transitioned it to one, to one part, to the second part, and eventually to the third part. Truly like all the parts of it. And this song is one of the songs that will win the competition easily, without any doubt. Now, number two. Number two, guys. It's for me, the number two and, and the number one, it's very uh, next to each other for me. It has the same power, both of them. Now, slightly down for me, I'm gonna go with my country's representation for 2021 uh, by Elena Tsangrenu, El Diablo. Um, you know the song? Uh, it's super great, it's super fun to hear it. It's super catchy. I do not care what many people are saying that this song has some big uh, reminiscence elements by Lady Gaga. Who cares? Okay. After all, uh, younger artists uh, are having inspiration from the old ones. Always these things are happening. I'm gonna give you an example, okay? Eminem. Eminem. Eminem has inspirations for Beastie Boys, okay? So, yeah. J. Cole. J. Cole has great inspirations, his style and everything from Jay-Z. No questions about it. Anyways, great song. I truly believe Elena Tsagrenu could put a great staging and great live performance in the finals. Could easily believe this song could win the competition without any doubt. Now, number one, Italy. Italy, finally a great hard rock song. For me, it's not just a great rock song. For me, uh, has elements to be the first actually uh, song the first uh, heavy metal song if you want pure heavy metal if you like because many of you are going to say yeah also hard rock hallelujah won the competition for me hard rock hallelujah was great but uh, it didn't uh, it didn't sound as heavy as this song by Italy this year okay and also Finland against another band song, the performer heavy metal song, I forgot the name of the band though. But this song for me is the first song that actually has, has some hard rock elements. And but most of it for me, okay, I know many of you you, you are going to disagree with me, but anyways. Uh, this song actually is more heavy metal than hard rock. Okay. And so far it's my favorite one to win um, the competition. So, uh, now other songs that could grow on me is the one from Malta, Moldova, um, Lithuania. I mean, Lithuania is a good song, but it's not my favorite so far, okay. Um, Iceland has to grow on me a bit more. Um, Greece is a cool song without any doubt. But I'm not really sure yet uh, to go, it could win the competition. The first time that I heard it, I truly really love it. But after you have some growing, some thoughts about the song, you could see where your opinion you know, could go. You know what I mean? So, that was my big video, guys. Please tell me your opinion in the comments below who you truly believe could win the competition. Uh, please tell me your top 10, okay? And yeah, that's all for me, guys. Now, um, in the future, I'm planning. I know it's a big, difficult task, but I could do it, okay? No one could stop you to achieve your dreams, okay? I want to find some actors to direct my first um, horror film in YouTube. It's gonna be a small one. 15 to 20 minutes but I want to do some great cinematography inspired by Alfred Hitchcock the man by himself so 
That's all for me, guys. Please do not forget to subscribe and share. See you later.